So Gareth Southgate has announced a squad that is going to win the World Cup and bring football home back to England. The former Borough boss named his 23-man squad last Wednesday and there were some senior figures who missed out with the likes of Joe Hart and Jack Wilshire set to spend the summer on the beach, while the informed John Joe Shelby didn't get the call due to doubts about his discipline, despite paying up zero yellow cards in 2018. Meanwhile, taxi thief Jake Livermore is on the standby list. But anyway, we should be focused on the players who have been picked, so today we're going to go through every player Gareth Southgate has selected and see where they were during the last World Cup. Jack Butlin, Stoke City The relegated shot stopper was still a potter during the last World Cup, but was a million miles away from being a contender for the England number one jersey, having not even nailed down his place in the Stoke team. In the build-up to the tournament in Brazil, Butland had been on loan in the Championship at Leeds United, as manager Mark Hughes sent him out to get the experience required. Well, four years on and Butland is back in the Championship with Stoke going down, but it's highly unlikely he'll be there after the summer. Jordan Pickford, Sunderland like Butland, Pickford was also a million miles away from the England number one spot, and two was out getting experience in the lower leagues, but the Sullen lad was even further down the footballing ladder. In 2014, Pickford was on loan at Carlisle United in League Two, and were going to sign a new four year deal at the Stadium of Light that summer. Nick Pope, Charlton. I'd hedge my bets that no one here knew who Nick Pope was in 2014, and if I told you back then he'd be in the 2018 World Cup squad, you'd think I was just making players up. But back in 2014, Pope was still a Charlton player, where he began his career before joining Burnley in 2016. Prior to the World Cup in Brazil, Nick Pope was on loan at York City in League 2, meaning two of our now World Cup keepers were playing in the fourth tier of English football, showing what a journey it's been for the pair. As for York City, they're no longer in the Football League. Ashley Young, Manchester United Four years ago, Ashley Young was not a defender, nor was he a World Cup contender. The winger had made 20 Premier League appearances at Old Trafford that season and wasn't picked as part of the Three Lions squad. It looked like Young's career was on the downturn, but four years on and somehow Ashley Young is going to his first World Cup at the age of 32 and he'll be there as a defensive option, rather than a flying winger. Gary Cahill, Chelsea Nothing has changed for Gary Cahill in four years. Back then he was a Chelsea and named as part of the England squad and in 2018 he's still a Chelsea and still in the England squad which actually comes as a bit of a surprise considering the defenders had arguably the worst season of his Chelsea career. Cahill played all three games as England flopped at the 2014 World Cup but will Gareth Southgate give him a chance to rewrite history this time in Russia? John Stones, Everton the Barnsley born centre half had just completed his first full season as a Premier League defender, making 21 appearances for the Toffees. His performance has earned him a place on Roy Hodgson's standby list for the World Cup, but Stones didn't make the final 23, and despite being in the squad for Euro 2016, Stones is still yet to play in a tournament for the Three Lions. He'll get that chance this summer though, surely set to be a starter for Southgate following his Premier League triumph at Manchester City. Kieran Trippier, Burnley. While being a Burnley player in the England squad isn't a taboo nowadays, it would have looked very out of place four years ago when the Clarets were in the Championship. With Trippier flying down the flank, Burnley won promotion at the Premier League in 2014 as the defender got set to fulfil his dream of playing in the top flight. Little did he know, Trippier would go even further in four years time, including an England World Cup squad following his performances for Spurs. Kyle Walker, Tottenham Hotspur Surprisingly, this will be Kyle Walker's first appearance at a World Cup, despite making his England debut back in 2011. The flying fullback missed the 2014 edition due to injury, and rather than sit at home and support his Three Lions teammates, Walker said in an interview that England would need a miracle to win the tournament. I mean, in fairness, he was right. Walker is a guaranteed starter four years on though, but the big question is, will he be right wing back or centre half? Danny Rose, Tottenham Hotspur. Four years ago, Danny Rose must have been wondering if there was any hope of him becoming an England star. In Brazil, England's left backs were Leighton Baines and Luke Shaw, while Rose wasn't selected after just completing his first season as a Tottenham starter. However, despite a difficult season for himself, Rose is going to the World Cup, while Luke Shaw is sat at home crying into a KFC bargain bucket, hoping that Jose Mourinho leaves him alone once and for all. Fabian Delph, Aston Villa King of Snakes Fabian Delft didn't make the England squad in 2014 despite his efforts in keeping Aston Villa in the Premier League and his international bow would come in the set of international fixtures immediately following England's failure in Brazil. The FA have listed Delft as a defender ahead of the 2018 World Cup but if Gareth Southgate thinks he'll be able to do as well as he has done for Man City then he's got another thing coming. It's easy when all you've got to do is give the ball to David Silver and Kevin De Bruyne. 
if only those two were English. Harry Maguire, Sheffield United Back in 2014, Harry Maguire had just finished the season in League One with boyhood club Sheffield United. That summer Maguire would join Hull City and two years later he was at Euro 2016 watching England as a fan along with his friends. Well this year the journey is complete as Maguire gets his spot on the plane as a prime candidate to start in Russia which didn't even look likely at the start of the season never mind four years ago. Phil Jones Manchester United Four years on and Phil Jones is exactly where he was four years ago in the England squad and a defender for Manchester United. At the 2014 World Cup, Jones made his tournament debut for the Three Lions, playing in the 0-0 draw with Costa Rica, a game where England were playing for absolutely nothing. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Liverpool Frighteningly, Trent Alexander-Arnold was just 15 years old during the last World Cup, so he was probably sat watching it all with his mates getting dizzy off cheap lemonade. The defender was part of the Liverpool youth setup and had also represented England at under 16 level. Yet four years on, and he's with the senior squad at a World Cup, where he'll have a Champions League final under his belt. Eric Dyer, Sporting. Yep, Eric Dyer is the only member of England's World Cup squad who was playing his football outside of the UK four years ago, and in fact, he's the only player in the squad to have ever played for a team that isn't based in England. In 2014, after the World Cup, Dyer was a part of England's under-21 side who were then managed by Gareth Southgate, but Dyer would go on to withdraw from the squad to focus on his Tottenham career. Christ, I hope that decision doesn't come round to bite him on the arse. Jesse Lingard, Manchester United Four years ago, when Jesse Lingard was 21 years old, it didn't look like he'd be able to make the grade for Man United and ultimately wouldn't be a feature in the England setup. In the build-up to the 2014 World Cup, Lingard had been on loan at Brighton in the Championship while they fell short in the playoffs. It wouldn't be until 2016 that Lingard would make his England debut and he has proved to be a late bloomer just like Sir Alex Ferguson predicted and could be a key figure in Russia with his ability to score key goals when the pressure is on. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Chelsea the midfielder was still in the midst of the Chelsea youth system in 2014, having held the under-18 side of the FA Youth Cup and then the under-21 Premier League title. While many Chelsea youngsters spend their lives on loan, Loftus-Cheek only has one temporary spell to his name and it's the one that got him on the plane to Russia, with his form for Crystal Palace catching the eye of Gareth Southgate. Jordan Henderson, Liverpool Hendo was in the England squad four years ago and he nearly was as a Premier League winner, with Liverpool narrowly missing out on the league title. It had probably been the best season of Henderson's career, almost looking like the next Steven Gerrard, but things aren't the same four years on. The Sunderland-born midfielder is a leader in the middle of the park and is a contender to be the captain of the three lines in Russia. Deli Ali, MK Dons League One, that's where Deli Ali was playing his football in 2014, back when he was just 18 years old. It's been a meteoric rise for the attacking midfielder, who before the last World Cup had just six League One goals to his name. Fast forward four years and Ali is a Tottenham and England regular, has been a part of a title race and the Champions League, scored 37 Premier League goals and racked up 23 England caps. And he's still got the best wave in the business. Ali could be the spot England needed at the World Cup and hopefully we won't see any of the diving antics that have plagued him over the past year. Danny Welbeck, Manchester United that guy Welbs was in the World Cup squad in 2014 in Brazil and remarkably he's going to be there again in Russia despite only scoring 5 Premier League goals all season. Before the last World Cup, Welbeck was still at Manchester United and had scored 9 league goals in the build-up to the tournament before failing to score in Brazil and eventually being sold to Arsenal. Raheem Sterling, Liverpool the winger would be included in Roy Hodgson's World Cup squad despite still being at the tender age of 19, but he went to Brazil in red-hot form on the back of a title challenge with Liverpool that saw Sterling really make his name in the Premier League. Contract disputes and a mega money move to Manchester City followed for Sterling, who is now in even better form going into this World Cup, having won the title with Man City after finding the net 18 times in the Premier League. Marcus Rashford, Manchester United the forward is Roy Hodgson's wildcard at Euro 2016, but two years on and he's an England regular, despite not getting consistent minutes at Old Trafford under Jose Mourinho. Four years ago though, and it was only the Man United youth staff who knew about Marcus Rashford's talents, having still been a part of the Red Devils Academy setup. Jamie Vardy, Leicester City Sure he's still at Leicester now, but things were very different four years ago for Jamie Vardy. The striker had only just started to make his mark in the Championship, scoring 16 goals as the Foxes earned promotion and Vardy began to justify the £1 million Leicester paid non-league Fleetwood for his services. Four years on and Jamie Vardy is a Premier League winner 
holds the record for most consecutive games scored in, has played in the Champions League, he's been capped for England and he prepared for the tournament with 20 Premier League goals. It's been a fairy tale for Jamie Vardy with the next chapter set to take place at the World Cup in Russia. Harry Kane Tottenham Hotspur Before the last World Cup, Harry Kane had only just ended his loan hoodoo and broken into the Spurs squad under Tim Sherwood, scoring three goals before the end of the season. Of course, the strike was nowhere near the international setup, but things would soon change. The following season was Kane's breakout year, and since then he scored more than 20 Premier League goals every season, firing in a career best 30 this season as he prepares to lead the line for England and hoist the World Cup trophy high into the air. So that's where every member of England's World Cup squad was four years ago. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.